So things that helped me get through the morning sickness was, like I said, one was just getting getting the rest. I think that's like the number one thing that I needed. Um, some other things that helped me personally get through get through that time is um, like different kinds of foods, I guess, which was, you know, this will be different for everybody, but these are just some of the things that just kind of like helped me a little bit. Um, saltines, they really helped like just like nibbling on them, like you didn't even want to eat or you did really want to eat, but like if you ate, you knew you were going to throw it up. So just like sometimes I would like ease my way into dinner. Dinner was like the hardest meal for me. So like maybe it's because I was like really tired at the end of the day, even though I was like sleeping through most of the day but I would like nibble on um, saltines and by the end of my morning sickness I definitely got sick of saltines and I was like thank god I don't have to eat saltines anymore um, but saltines I guess because it's like really easy to digest I think that's the biggest thing and, and it's a little bit salty so it kind of helps kind of like hold things in I guess um, I ate dried cranberries um, because those you know kind of like a concentrated form of calories without you know without taking up too much space and <laughs> what I ate quite a bit um, in my in my first trimester was uh, like for lunch I would do I would go to Panera and I would get like like a turkey sandwich with uh, with a Greek salad and I would eat it really really slowly and for some reason like the sandwich had like avocado in it and that was really good and I would just eat it really really slowly and it just somehow managed to stay down um, and then after and then I stopped eating Panera for a really long time because I totally got sick of it and then when I went back to it like to try you know eat the Greek salad again the, the salad what the salad dressing is really actually very vinegary and it didn't taste vinegary during my morning sickness, but, you know, I know acidic foods also kind of help. What's interesting is that in my pregnancy with Nene, I would drink, you know, lemons were like a big thing for me. Like I would eat like a lot of lemons. Like I would get like an iced tea or whatever and it like would be like all lemons and then like some iced tea and some ice. Um, but this time around, for some reason, lemons like did not do the trick. I could not eat lemons and... Um, so it was, I guess, the Greek salad at Panera that was like, that helped me. And um, that was like the really acidic thing for me. And uh, I also drank soda. Um, I didn't necessarily drink ginger ale, I just drank Sprite, but you know, that kind of, that kind of helped as well. And um, again, eating small meals, and this is like, true for all of pregnancy I guess eating really really slowly eating small meals Let's see a couple other things aside from you know resting and, and you know certain kinds of foods or whatever is you know because I was like throwing up, throwing up a lot I used this quite a bit um, mouthwash was like was like my best friend and now I'm like an avid mouthwash user I like never used mouthwash before until until this morning sickness or whatever and this is the kind that I use and apparently um, a lot of dentists recommend it. I mean, it says number one dentist recommended, but that doesn't really mean anything. It's the total care. But when I did go to my dentist um, later, I uh, they do actually recommend this uh, brand, I guess, or this particular kind. But mouthwash, clean, keeping my mouth clean was definitely very helpful. Keeping my toilet clean, I use these. Um, this is great value. I don't know. I, I think that's Walmart. It's like lemon scented and my bathroom was like, <laughs> it's never been as clean as it was when I was having morning sickness because I would just clean it like all the time. And then also, you know, like your, your sense of smell or at least my sense of smell like heightened quite a bit. Um, I mean, my sense of smell is already good, but when I'm pregnant, it's like through the roof and a lot of foods would make me really nauseous. Chicken is like a huge thing. Um, if my mom cooked broccoli in a little bit of water and she left the water like on the stove, like after she took the broccoli out, after it was cooked, like I could smell it from like across the apartment. 
and like in my room like like they're like on opposite ends of the apartment and I could still smell it and it was like it was so bad but um and like if you if like when I was still working um if someone was wearing perfume and like if the perfume like was mixing with their body oils like that was a total turn off another thing about you know having morning sickness and you're working is it got to the point where like I had to go I had to go throw up and then um, it was like a public bathroom and I would have to like hold it in and wait until the person left and then until I could throw up and that was also like really hard um, and it's just like really exhausting like when you're trying to like hold in your urge to vomit it's just a very exhausting thing um, but anyway when I was at home these actually also really helped and these are um, just like hand soaps they're from Bath and Body Works and I've never I never had or used Bath and Body Works but I really wanted to get like some type of foamy soap the way before um, way before this uh, morning sickness or whatever and, and these were the first two that I got and these really helped just because it was just like after you throw up and stuff and you just like feel so disgusting like you wash your hands and these are like so refreshing and it was just you know they don't last they don't like linger on your hands or anything if they lingered on my hands and things like it wouldn't work but it was just it didn't linger on my hands it, you could just like smell it and it was just like very like refreshing and it was they kind of like helped me get through it but anyway they say like ginger and maybe like those like wristbands for for um like motion sickness that that helps but um i never ate ginger or like got ginger chews or anything like that and I, I didn't do that um i think resting for me was the biggest thing and i'm trying to think if there's anything else that was um like i know i had i had something else that was also kind of different but i can't remember um so i think that's about it um if you have any like morning sickness stories or tips then please leave them in the comments below um i think you know people who are watching this video they might very well be interested in hearing it and just just know that if you are experiencing morning sickness like now or you know in the future like you're not alone like i knew mentally um intellectually that there are women out there who have really bad morning sickness i just don't or didn't didn't slash don't happen to know any <laughs> but you are not alone if you do experience re really bad morning sickness and i think that's about it um about my first trimester and morning sickness and my like little my little survival kit to get through my morning sickness and that's about it so in my next video i think i'm going to do or in my next backtrack video uh, i will probably do kind of like differences between this pregnancy and my last pregnancy and um so stay tuned for that and i guess that's it i hope you guys are having a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye Thank you.